Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to my YouTube channel, Electronic and CNC Lab. In today's video we will see how by spending a few tens of euros we can make an accurate digital thermometer with just a few components. The heart of this project is a board manufactured by Ada Fruit and this board mounts a thermocouple amplifier called the MAX31856. Let's say right away what a thermocouple is. The thermocouple is a temperature transducer whose operation is based on the Seebeck effect. This effect was discovered in 1822 by Thomas Jones Seebeck, an Estonian-born physicist, who discovered that in a closed circuit formed by two different metals and soldered together at the end, a potential difference proportional to temperature is established. The circuit we use, the MAX31856, is capable of measuring the potential difference of the thermocouple with extremely high accuracy. Using a 19-bit analog digital converter which enables it to achieve a resolution of 8 thousandths of a degree. Its measuring range is minus 210 degrees Celsius plus 1800 degrees Celsius. Let's start by saying what materials are needed for this project. So we have a converter amplifier, the MAX31856 for temperature sensors, an Arduino UNO board. A 16 by 2 character display, a couple of resistors, a trimmer, a type K thermocouple, some solid leads and a brand board. So let's look at the connection diagram, as connections from the display we have, the power supply which is taken from the Arduino, and we have here the ground is the plus 5V, which are also sent to the backlight of the display, and then the four data lines from DB4 to DB7, which go from pins 4 to 7 of the Arduino board, then we have the RS and enable pins 4 and 6 which go to pins 2 and 3 on the Arduino board. We then have the usual 220 ohm resistor to supply power with a current limitation to the LED backlight diode of the display. And then we have the 10k ohm trimmer connected to pins 1, 2 and 3 which allows us to adjust the contrast of the display. We then have the MAX31856 board, which takes the 5 volt power supply and ground from the Arduino board and communicates via a standard has called SPI, Serial Peripheral Interface, which through four data lines, interfaces with the Arduino board and transmits the information and receives the data and clock from the microcontroller. As an external power supply, we can directly use the USB cable, which is also used for programming the microcontroller. But let us now see a somewhat simplified diagram of all the connections, which is certainly a clearer and more obvious representation of the connections between the various components. From this diagram, we see how we can read the temperature with a thermocouple through the MAX31856. We have here the analog to digital conversion board, which has the four data lines, which are some of the inputs and some of the outputs. We have the CS, which is the select chip, SDI, which is serial data input, and the SDO, the serial data output, and SCK is the serial clock. Then we have the GND ground and the VIN supply voltage. Then we have the Arduino UNO, which communicates through the D10, D11. D12 and D13 ports with a MAX31856 board. To which it supplies the power. On the other side we have the 16 by 2 character display, which communicates via data lines D4 to D7, on the display's digital ports DB4, DB5, 
DB6 and DB7, and then via digital lines D2 and D3, communicates on the display's RS and enable ports. We then have here the representation of the backlight LED diode connected to the cathode which is then connected to ground and to the anode through the 220 ohm resistor. Which goes to the positive supply voltage. We then have the trimmer which is connected to pins 1, 2 and 3. Which allows us to adjust the contrast of the display. Here we have a summary of the characteristics that are the 10 types of thermocouples that this board is able to recognize. The resolution which is 19 bits and in degree centigrade is about 8 thousandths of a degree. The measuring range then depends on the type of thermocouple ranges from minus 200 degrees Celsius to plus 1800 degrees Celsius plus. So let's get right down to the description, which will allow us to read the temperature of the type K thermocouple and display it either on a serial monitor, or on an external 16 by 2 character LCD. So first we need to go to Tools, Manage Library and download the Adafruit Max 31856.h library. Going here in the search field and then after downloading it we need to go to sketch and include the Adafruit library. Max 31856 just downloaded and the liquid crystal library. H. Let's now see this first block, which consists of defining the pins that we will associate with the thermocouple converter amplifier ports, which follow the SDI standard. These parts are chip select serial data input serial data output and serial clock and we match pins 10, 11, 12, 13 of the Arduino board. We do a similar thing to define the pins that we associate with the LCD display and we define RS, enable, DB4, DB5, DB6 and DB7, which we match pins 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 of the Arduino. We define a board rate of 9600 and at this point instead we declare the thermal object. And we match the values of the constants that we have indicated above. So here we will have port 10, 11, 12 and 13. We do the same thing with the LCD display where we are going to connect the Arduino pins to the LCD display. We go to the setup part, we initialize the serial. Instead this block we initialize the thermocouple and we set the type of thermocouple in this in this switch case. In addition to setting it, we display on the serial monitor, the type of thermocouple that we have set through the firmware. We initialize the type of LCD by defining a 16 by 2 2 character, i.e. two lines of 16 characters. We now go into the loop. We have two variables a CJ temp and a TC temp, which correspond to the cold junction temp. i.e. the cold junction of our reading system for the thermocouple and the thermocouple temp i.e. the temperature of the thermocouple, and these are obtained. Through therm read CJ temp and read thermocouple temp. We then go on to display on the serial monitor, through serial print, the string cold junction temp and the corresponding value with three decimals, three is the number of decimals that are used to display the temperature. 
a similar thing is done for the thermocouple reading. We first print the string on the next line and then the corresponding value of the thermocouple. Now through these bits we check if there are any error conditions. Let's now move on to the printing part on the LCD. First we clean the LCD deleting any other characters of previous readings. Then we place the cursor on the first character of the first line. We print the string TC temp and placing the cursor on the first character of the first line. Immediately after we print the value stored in the variable TC temp which corresponds to the thermocouple temperature against three decimal places. This here is an LCD print that we need to print the degree symbol, we. Now go to the second line with set cursor 0 1. We print the string CJ temp with this other line instead we go to place at the ninth character of the second line, the cursor, then we print the reading of the cold junction, then the temperature of the cold junction, again with three decimal places, we then go to C, also here, the same LCD print as before that prints us the degree dot. At this point we have a delay starts the loop again with a one second delay. Well at this point that we have finished programming, let's go and save the sketch for the last time. Then let's go to the tools menu, let's check on which board we are connected, so in this case in the board manager, we are on the Arduino UNO. And it is correct and then the port is the correct one, we are connected on COM5 and it is correctly selected. After which we can go and verify the code. And if no errors appear we can proceed with the upload to the microcontroller. And at this point we can also do a test. Well at this point I'd say we're done and if you liked it, remember to leave me a like and subscribe to my channel, but if you want to receive automatic alerts, every time I upload a video, also click on the little bell. Now I'll say goodbye and see you next time.